Hey guys, this is Kunal and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So today we are going to discuss how we can uh, set up an hybrid environment for in our to create our intelligent automation project using UiPath. So before we discuss how we can uh, do that, let's discuss what is a hybrid environment and why we need that. So basically, let's say you have a, a already have a, a UiPath environment. Uh, which includes orchestrator, robot, and studios, and that ha that is installed in your on-premise servers. But uh, for a new project, you want uh, to you leverage the capabilities of uh, artificial intelligence using the AI center. And if you don't want to get into that hassle of setting up the whole AI center on your on-premise servers, so uh, in that case, you can leverage the UiPath hybrid environment capabilities. So uh, using that. You can directly access the you can get the license for the uh, ai center in a automation cloud and you can directly access the ai capabilities uh, through that ai center and you don't have to install the whole setup uh, you need to do need to perform the whole setup of installing the ai center and installing the other packages into your local servers so uh, yeah so that that's what we can do so that is actually a good feature provided by uipath so yeah, let's uh, get started how we can achieve that. So basically, uh, this is a project which is developed uh, uh, to extract details from an invoice. And if you want to get into the details of how to develop this, uh, you can watch my previous video. I will link that, uh, I will provide the link of that video in the description down below. So yeah, but in, the, in a brief, if I tell it's a project which will extract details from an invoice. Uh, using the machine learning extractor and a skill is uh, already created in the AI center so yeah so currently you can see uh, the ML skill is all directly provide available in the uh, in this drop down ML skill drop down but when you use the hybrid uh, environment it will not be available here directly because the AI center and the orchestrator will not connect uh, are not connected directly so uh, you will not get uh, any ML skills directly in this drop down. So we will discuss that how to uh, uh, get the, how to connect this activity with the ML, ML skill later. But yeah, uh, let me explain this first. So basically this project will extract details from the invoice using the uh, machine learning extractor and a skill is already created in uh, AI center. AI center. So yeah, uh, let me just and the skill name is uh, vendor invoice extraction. So let me just quickly run this uh, project so that you can see the result and we can later match this result with the hybrid environment setup result. So yeah, let me run this now. So started the project, it will launch the uh, present validation station in a moment. So yeah guys, as you can see, this is the invoice which we are using to extract details using the machine learning extractor and the AI skill which we are using is vendor invoice extraction. So yeah, as you can see, it has extracted almost all the fields correctly. I guess it did miss the PO number. Let's add that. I also extracted the line item details so yeah let's save it so yeah guys so as you can see the process is completed successfully so yeah so this is our general approach where the uh, ai center and orchestrator are installed both installed on the same platform if it is on cloud it will the both will be on automation cloud if it is on premise the both will be on premise installed on premise so let's see how we can uh, achieve the hybrid automation now so for that let me uh, go into my auto AI center. So this is the AI center and this is the deployed ML skill. So let me So this is a basically a project uh, Auto invoice extraction inside that there is a ML skill created vendor invoice extraction So if you want uh, so currently this same skill is available Here as well if you can see 
the ml skill is directly available but in a hybrid uh, environment it will it won't be available so how we can connect that so for that we have to go into this uh, we have to open this uh, skill so once you open this skill there is an option called modify current deployment so after going into this uh, option you can see there is a toggle this toggle says make ml skill public so after we enable this toggle we need to confirm that and uh, once we confirm this uh, toggle we'll get this capability how we need to again go into this and we have to wait for some time uh, just let me wait reload this so it is again updating the package it will take a few moment It will take some time guys just uh, uh, be with me yeah looks like it is available let's open it now yeah so guys now you can see there is a UI uh, URL available here so this is the same URL which you can use in, in place of the endpoints so we can provide this URL and our model will be available as usual so let me copy this and let's get into the model again so let's remove this basically so this will be a string so yeah guys so as you can see this is a, a endpoint which we have created and it has the name so let me open this so yeah so you can see guys this is the same uh, the same uh, ML skill which we have created the vendor invoice extraction in the AI center <coughs> and this uh, URL is specific to that particular uh, ML skill it's not like uh, uh, we are getting a uh, using a general uh, UI path provided public uh, endpoints it is a it, it is a specific endpoint to that particular ML skill which we have created in our AI, uh, AI center so yeah guys so let's run this and let's see if something changes or not so let's run the project again. So yeah guys, as you can see, we are able to extract the details using the same MS skill but in a different uh, approach, using the different approach. So yeah, as you can see all the details are extracted correctly. The PO number is still not extracted. In our future videos, we will uh, uh, explain like how we can train the model using this uh, uh, after getting the feedback from a human loop. So yeah, the video is coming up soon on that as well. But yeah, stay tuned for, for that. So yeah, guys, uh, that's how you can achieve the hybrid uh, environment uh, capabilities using the UI path. So uh, currently this functionality has a drawback. So uh, the drawback is the uh, using the hybrid approach, you can currently only use uh, uh, the ML skills related to the document understanding. That means the other ML skill like uh, text analysis and uh, other ML projects are not available currently because of the limitation of the, those activities because those activities are not supporting the endpoint but uh, UiPath is working on that and I think soon uh, that feature will be available for all the ML packages. 
so yeah i think uh, it should not be a worry so yeah guys uh, that's how you can achieve the hybrid environment capabilities and you can leverage uh, this functionality in your projects and i hope this video will help so yeah yeah guys that's it for this video and i hope if you like this video just uh, press the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel will be fantastic so stay tuned and yeah goodbye and take care